Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today um, I'm going to be testing out these range extenders. Um, there is absolutely loads of videos of this all over YouTube uh, for the Mavic Mini. But the trouble is I've been having is I've been trying to video that jetty over there uh, to get some sort of ship footage um, and I've not been very successful. I've been losing range quite quickly. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to do a little control test, see how far I can get. I am heading into the wind and then back directly as well. Um, so I'm going to do a control test, which I'll start now, and then I'm going to put these on and see how much further we can get. Right, so let's get started then. Start with taking off. Here we go. Gonna get a little bit of height, uh, probably go up to about 20 meters, um, give or take. Really, really keen to test these uh, range extenders because, like I say, I've been struggling to get uh, some range. So let's see what happens, right? So we're gonna begin our flight outwards now. I do obviously apologise for the poor picture quality, but to get all the detail on screen, which I'm hoping to capture, obviously I've decided to use the uh, the phone screen recording. Um, I thought it was going to be a better idea. So here we go. We're going up to uh, 200 meters. Past that, no problem whatsoever. Like I said, I do apologise in advance for the. Uh, or uh, picture quality but it needed to be that um, strong wind warning not to be uh, unexpected given the fact that we are flying over open water um, there's not a lot to sort of deflect the wind and even though on UAV forecast we're only looking about 8 miles per hour to 10 miles per hour wind it's still expected to give some of these warnings so again just please sort of uh, ignore those Right, so we've just passed 500 uh, meters. Still sticking to that 21 meters uh, height. So, in case you don't know where I'm from, um, this is the uh, River Humber or Humber Estuary, uh, with its correct uh, name. Six, seven hundred meters. Done that quite easily. We've got a steady speed of 7.9 meters per second. Oh, that's our first wheat signal warning at only uh, 780 metres. Not looking good for the uh, standard antennas. Oh, here we go, 850, one more. You can see the screen starting to break up a little bit. Seem to have flown through it. Approaching a thousand metres. Oh, another weak signal, just antennas. Just gonna stop a minute and uh, let that uh, connect. You see, we show we've got a signal um, in the top right hand corner. Um, 1100 meters, still sticking to that 7.9 meters per second. We do, we are fighting the wind here as well. Um, wind is, uh, directly towards us at the moment. Twelve fifty. Thirteen hundred coming up. Are we gonna do thirteen hundred? Another strong wind warning. Again, this is gonna come up, I would imagine. Thirteen fifty. Now we're really starting to break up here now. Not looking good. 12.30, video barely moving. And that's it, we're gone. So we got to 1,450 meters, give or take, and we have lost connection to the controller. As you can see, the screen is frozen, so we're just gonna let the uh, return to home pick us back up and bring us back. So that was our control test. And we've got to 1448, 1450. Just setting my uh, return to home up to 80 meters. Beautiful views there. And then we're gonna head off back. A 
Here we go, we're starting the journey back now. Yep, still struggling, still, still struggling for connection. Passing the ship on the way back, as you can see. But again, video quality is really, really poor. Very jerky. Not in control. Full control of the gimbal. Obviously, we're getting a lot of lag on there as well. Not a lot we can do about this. But this was the test. And uh, this is the whole point of why we're trying it. Um, obviously, as you know, there's plenty of videos on, like this on YouTube. But uh, I wanted to test it out for myself. And since I am struggling with our range, it made sense for me to grab a set these range extenders and just see where I go with them. Right, so we're just going to uh, quickly speed up this footage and get ourselves back and then we will uh, start again with the uh, test for the range extenders. Range extenders on now. Right, they're looking really quite snug. Right, so here we go. Right then, this is the uh, test with the range extender scene. As you can see, we've just fitted those, and here we go. We're taking off again. Again, getting up to that uh, 80 meters, uh, sorry, 80 meters, 20 meters, like we've already suggested and did on the last flight. Here we go, there we go. Now we're gonna uh, begin our outward journey. Very interesting to see if you uh, wanted to pause at this point and write how far down in the comments you think we're going to get, how much further we're going to get. Just admiring a couple of the views there. Plenty of battery life, so we can uh, we can do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally just, as you can see, for the bottom uh, bottom of the screen, we are going to fly directly straight from where we are. Um, just makes things to keep in line of sight, of course, at all times. Obviously this is quite a small drone so we may struggle, again those are the uh, strong wind warnings, I imagine they're going to keep popping up like they did on the control test. So we are approaching uh, 450 meters. Video quality actually looks a bit better on this flight. Here we go, 600 meters, nice and easy. No problems at all here. Seven inches quite easily. 90% battery, 18 satellites locked in. No issues whatsoever. So I've just decided to quickly stick it in sport mode just to sort of speed this process up a little bit. Um, this is actually my first time flying it in sport mode, we're getting 10.5 meters per second. As you can see we're going quite quickly now. Coming up to that uh, 1000 meters. Now, obviously as you're aware, um, on the control flight, we had actually had a couple of low signal warnings um, already by this point, and our maximum um, was... Was it 1450? Yep, yeah, 1450. I'm sure we'd already had at least two warnings for low signal by now. As you can see, our strength bar at the top is absolutely full. Approaching 1300 meters. My God, look how stable the footage is. This is absolutely fantastic compared to the latter run. 
Wow, I'm very impressed. 19 satellites locked in. Oh, just keep jumping. Signal strength seems fuller. Now, this was our limit. We're at our limit. Breezed past it. No pause signal warnings whatsoever. 1500 meters. My god, how far are we going to go? Wow. Sticking at that 7.9 meters per second. Wow, 1650. Surely that's going to break up soon. I cannot believe how well we are doing here. 1700 meters. Wow, I'm I'm majorly impressed. That's a thousand meters more than when we started getting some warnings last time. Still holding really nice at this 20 meters. 1800. I mean, obviously, guys, you know, you have seen other videos possibly on YouTube, but this is just amazing for me at how much longer this has given us. So that's coming up to 500 meters more than what we got fully last time. Wow, 2000 meters. Wow, 2,100 meters. I'm absolutely gobsmacked, guys, at this. We're going to reach our maximum distance in a minute. I might have to uh, change this. See if we can keep going. We've got plenty of battery left. 76% battery. Here we go. Yeah, we've reached our max distance. Wow, that is really, really impressive. So, right, let's get into the settings. Let's be brave. Let's set it for a little bit further. See how much further we're going to get. Here we go again. Keep going. Now, I'm not going to push this too far, guys, because there's no need to. Again, strong wind warning, but no low signal. Look at our strength bar at the top. It's still absolutely full. 74% battery, 17 satellites. Still got 16 minutes of flight time. Wow. 2,400 meters. Do you know what? I think I've proven this. I think I'm just going to stick to 2,500. There's no need to take it any further. I might do one day, but not today. We've done it. 2,500 meters. That is 1,000 meters more than what we got last time. And we've not had a single low signal warning. That is majorly impressive. Majorly impressive. I do wonder how much further we could have gone. Maybe I will do that another day. See if we can get fly right the way across the Humber estuary. I am absolutely gobsmacked. Look at the picture quality as well. It's fully remained great quality. I'm, I'm a little bit lost for words, guys. So these range extenders that I've bought and what I've fitted, they're not a branded one. They haven't come some, from some fancy website. There was eBay from China for eight pounds. Eight pounds, that's all. And they've extended my range. You see, before I was actually only getting about 700 meters. So this is obviously the first time I've given this a good go. Um, but obviously, as you can see with the control test, same conditions. There has been absolutely no time other than just to fit the extenders between flights. We started off with the same battery power. Um, and yeah, this is just absolutely phenomenal. I am so shocked. There's not a lot to say, is there? Eight, eight pounds to absolutely transform Oh, we're getting a, a low signal one in here. This is quite strange. RC signal lost. That's bizarre. Hmm, very strange. Considering we got all the way there with no issues, suddenly we're getting it on the way back. Not quite sure what to make of that, but 
Never mind, we'll... Oh, there we go. Return to home. But yeah, we've got false signal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that return to home. I'm just going to fly it back myself. It's completely unnecessary. Full signal. It must have been a little bit of a interference at that exact spot. We didn't get any on the way back and we've flown straight straight back the way we came. Um, so quite strange there. Just going to go for the scenic view and uh, get a little bit more height. Incidentally guys, this is uh, where I actually work. Um, I will be visiting that ship um, Later on tomorrow actually Right, so anyway guys, I think that's uh, we can call the end of the video there these clearly work um, I really appreciate you guys watching this video and uh, Please if you did find this useful don't forget to like share and subscribe don't forget to hit the bell notification as well for any other videos I do like this. But brilliant, thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, you can see yourself, these have added a further thousand meters on and there should no sign of of struggling. So maybe one day we're, we're going to go out and test that again. If you'd like to see that, then let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much and catch you on the next one.